Hey guys, um, I thought I would do um, an informal update. Um, so, after I lost my truck, I ended up going to night transportation. I thought I could do the, the company driver thing, but as it turns out, I can't. You know, I can't, I can't deal with only going 60 miles an hour and being told when I can go home and for how long. Um, you know, it's, I'm too independent for that. Um, also, you know, company driver pay sucks. Um, you know, I, I just, I got bills I gotta pay. So I started exploring my options, and as it turns out, um, Knight actually has a fairly interesting lease program. Uh, you know, unlike Swift, they don't lease you like a new truck. So you're not going to get a shiny 2018 Kenworth T680. Um, you're going to get a, a truck that, you know, has seen some use. Um, the truck I'm looking at is a 2013 Volvo 670 uh, with the ISX-15 in it. Um, you know, I didn't want to get one that has a, a Volvo motor in it, so then I'd be stuck going to a Volvo dealer in, it in order to get it worked on. Uh, that was part of the problem I had with the, the Kenworth truck I had, was that it had the Packard motor, and so I had to go to a Packard dealership to get it serviced. And when you go to a dealership, they bend you over and don't use any loot. Uh, with the Cummins, you know, I could go to just about any Cummins shop, any most Ma and Pa, you know, truck stops or you know service places can work on a Cummins motor. Uh, you know, you know, only from what I understand, the only motor that's better than that is like a Detroit. Um, but they don't have any Detroits. It's either a Volvo uh, D13 or an ISX15. Um, so the way it works with them is it's a two and a half year uh, contract. I pay for the truck payment, it's like three twenty eight a week. And then with all expenses and everything included, you know, insurance, e-log, uh, federal highway usage tax, all that stuff, uh, toll pass. Um, which they pay all the tolls to, which is excellent. Um, it's like five twenty-six, five twenty-eight a, a week. Which, to put that into perspective, um, with the Swift leases, um, I was doing altogether between eight hundred and a thousand dollars a week. Uh, the truck payment was like six hundred and twenty. I want to say um, and then with Swift it's a three year lease and then there's a, a fifty to sixty thousand dollar residual payment in order to get the title for the truck which is crazy in my book um, with Knight it's a two and a half year contract and then they hand you the title it's yours no more payment, no nothing you get the truck they also have a pretty decent maintenance program uh, with Knight. Uh, seven cents a mile. It works like insurance. If something happens to the truck, uh, Knight will finance 80% of the repairs, or they will pay for 80% of the repairs, and then I only have to pay 20%. So, you know, say I, I blow my motor, and it's a $30,000 repair, they'll pay 80% of that. And then I only pay 20% of that, uh, which is pretty good um they also with that fee a lot of the repairs are covered just straight up like air leaks radiator leaks um you know also any oil changes or pm services i get done are covered i i don't have to pay anything out of pocket uh which is which is pretty good um and uh Sorry, my girlfriend was uh, messaging me on, on Facebook Messenger. Um, you know, that alone would save me a couple thousand dollars uh, a year, you know. Uh, you got to figure oil changes are, 
you know, about 400 bucks each, and you do them every 30,000 miles, you do 100,000 miles in a year, you know, that's, that's a, a, a good chunk of, a, well, yeah, that, that'd be like three or four services, so, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, um, to get that for free, um, you know, well, not for free, but, you know, covered, no out-of-pocket for the actual service, um, and, uh, you know, so I, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'm going to see how it works. It is a walk away deal. So, you know, if things go sideways, I can walk away. I mean, I won't be able to get a truck from them again, but you know, uh, it's, you know, they're not going to come after me or destroy my credit if things don't work out. And if things do work out in two and a half years, I own the truck, which is the goal. And with Swift, it, it takes you like six years to own the truck. Uh, with that Kenworth I had, it would have taken me five years to own the truck. And I was paying twice as much per month for those trucks than I would be for this one. So we'll, we'll see how it works. So far, I've been relatively happy with night. The pay hasn't been the best. Um, the other thing is, is with their pay plan, uh, it's about $1.20 a mile for all miles anything over 500 miles um, so that's it's pretty good under 500 miles I think it's uh, 275 to 500 miles it's like a dollar uh, 30 a mile or dollar no it's dollar 38 a mile and a zero to 258 miles it's like a dollar 60 a mile all miles that's that's pretty good. Uh, it's a lot better than what I was getting with Swift. Um, and uh, honestly, at Mercer, I, I wasn't making even that much. You know, on average at Mercer, I was making about a dollar twenty-five all miles, uh, and my expenses were a lot higher there. I mean, my trailer rental alone there was, you know, six hundred almost 700 a week and then you throw in all the insurances and everything else and all the other nickel and dime fees um you know i mean I, i'm gonna end up paying i, I would have ended up paying more than what i'm paying you know for the truck at mercer just for the trailer and their fees and and making marginally more um per mile um I just, I ran into a friend of mine who's still at Mercer, and he's about to lose his truck, uh, today, um, and, uh, actually I ran into him yesterday, days kind of start blending together when you've been out on the road for, you know, a month at a time, um, and, uh, he said that right now, he's still only getting about a dollar thirty-five mile, and I have a friend who has his own authority, and he's telling me he's getting upwards of two dollars a mile, um, you know, I think he just did a load uh, for three dollars and fifteen cents a mile. I mean, you know, I just Mercer puts up this this big old front that they're they're all about the drivers, and you get these drivers that work for them, and you know they think Mercer can do no wrong. And I just look at the results, you know that I had and, and some of the other people I know who haven't drank the Kool-Aid there or been there for 10 or 15 years and uh, it just you know it's crazy so but you know it's not a, a, a slam on Mercer or slam on any other company post it's just an update so um, <clears throat> I'm going to be in Tampa tomorrow um, you know looking at the contract and the paperwork and everything else and, and hopefully if everything works out, um, the, the truck is up in Pennsylvania. Uh, they got to do some final work on it, you know, tidy it up, you know, put the truck number, decals, whatnot, install their, uh, their e-log thing, which is Zonar. Um, and, uh, hopefully the truck will be ready by the end of next week. Um, and what they'd probably wind up doing is renting me a car so I could drive up to Pennsylvania and get it. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll have my own truck by the end of next week. Um, I'm also going to uh, maybe do a moto vlog or something uh, on my way home. Hopefully it's not raining. 
hopefully the roads are okay because you know wonderful Irma uh, our house made it through Irma okay my motorcycle made it through unscathed uh, my girlfriend was without power for a couple of days um, but it came back on and, and we're no worse for wear uh, no damage to the house no damage to uh, any of our belongings um, so yay um, anyhow that's it for now um, you have any questions comments you know leave them down below like subscribe whatever if you want to heckle me be my guest um, you know want to give me congratulations whatever you know I, I really need to script these things out instead of just doing them off the cuff because I'm not so good at that uh, just doing it off the cuff but yeah I think I'm great but then I watch it back and I'm like um 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 and um um awkward pause um yeah I don't know if you noticed I got my teeth fixed that was expensive yay uh, but anyhow till next time drive safe Keep the rubber side down, the shiny side up.